Hey everyone, I want to show you a new hydroponic system today. I really like the rail systems I build with square pipe, but I've received feedback that square pipe can be hard to find in a lot of areas. I've done systems with round pipe in the past and they had some limitations, so I set out to make a design that incorporates a lot of the productive features of the square system and yet is simple to build. I'm calling this an NFT system, but it's really a hybrid. The way this design works, is we have water being pumped up from the reservoir through this tube and splits off, goes to these two rails. The rails are then declined so that the water flows down forming a nutrient film. So this section here is our nutrient film section of the system. The water then combines into this third rail, which is the return, and then travels down the exit tube. Now the exit tube is placed so that the water level in this third rail is going to be higher. It's not going to be a film. And that has the advantage of letting us start seedlings here. As you've seen in a previous video I made, one of the biggest disadvantages of nutrient film technique is that you, it's not easy to start seeds right in the system. Usually you start seeds in a separate system and then transfer them over. In this case, we can start our seedlings in the same system, allow them to grow, and once they have larger roots, then we can move them to the back area, which is full NFT because they have roots that can reach down to the bottom of the channel. Here, I'll show you what one of them looks like. We've got roots that reach all the way down to the bottom of the channel and are pulling up water and nutrients from the bottom of the rail. The materials for this system are pretty straightforward as well. I went to a local department store, picked up a 10 foot stick of three inch PVC drain pipe. I could make all three rails from that same stick. I think it was 15 bucks for that. A couple fittings here to connect the pipes together. There's a bulkhead fitting on the exit along with an elbow. But on the entry, we don't even need bulkhead fittings since these caps aren't holding back any water since the water's flowing on a decline. So that's nice. That makes it a lot simpler. And overall, I think this just took me a couple hours to build. And you can see it's an extremely productive system. Here's what I like about this system. First, you can grow all the way from seed to harvest. So as I've mentioned in a previous video, with a normal NFT system, it can be hard to start seedlings right in the system. Well, the way I designed this system, it has an area where you can start seedlings right in the system, keep them in the system all the way until harvest. I also like how this system uses space efficiently. So when the plants are smaller, the seedlings, we keep them close together in this first rail. And then as the plants mature, we space them farther apart. I also like that this system uses light efficiently. So since the plants get spaced further apart as they mature, we have smaller plants closer together, larger plants farther apart, and you can see that in this system we're using up all of the light. The system is also really low maintenance. You can run it with 30 minutes or less each week. Drop the seeds in, make sure your nutrient levels are good to go, and come back several days later. The system is really simple to construct. It uses materials and fittings that are easy to find. It requires a stick of drain pipe, a few fittings, a reservoir and pump, and tubing to and from the reservoir. I've been running this system without aeration, so you don't even need an air pump. This is the most inexpensive and easiest rail system I've built. It does have a few limitations, however. It's best for short-lived plants, since it has a really small pipe and small area for the roots. If you try to grow larger plants, they would quickly clog up the channels, so it wouldn't work well for that and you can't fit two rows of seedlings like you can with square pipe. It can also be more difficult to disassemble depending on how you build it. With the square system, you can just unscrew the rails and separate them easily. With this system, it's a little trickier. If you'd like to learn more about this system, I created a free PDF guide with the steps I took to build it along with the materials list and the dimensions. You can find that guide on my website with a link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.